How's it going everyone? It's Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another movie review, AK After I Saw. This time for this new episode for this series is going to be my review on the 2023 Christmas action thriller, and that is Silent Night. This is directed by John Woo, and it's been a while since he's directed an American film in which the last time he made a movie with America was way back in 2003, which was Paycheck. So he has now returned to make a new American film, which is this film. And in this film, on Christmas Eve, we follow this man named Brian, played by Joel Kinnaman, who witnesses the death of his son, who gets caught in crossfire with, um, with uh, warring gangs. And what ends up happening to him, uh, what happens to Brian, is that he gets injured by these gang members who who have cost him his voice. And so we see him recovering from his from the wound that cost him his voice. And then he soon embarks on a bloody and grueling quest to punish those who were responsible for killing his son. So that's pretty much the story of Silent Night. Now, as I already mentioned, this movie marks the return to director John Woo for making a new American film in which, as I've already said, it's been a while since he's made an, an American film. And he has made a few handful of these movies before that uh, are considered to be his, mo his most most well-known films and yet easily his best like he's made movies such as Hard Target, Face Off and Broken Arrow and he's also well known for making a few like Chinese like Hong Kong action films such as uh, A Better Tomorrow and The Killers and so on and so when I heard he was making a new American film which has been over a decade been in quite a few decades I was actually really I was really excited to see what he was going to do here and which this is a new um, action thriller that he was making and this one is also set during a holiday season which in which this film is set during Christmas. And there have been a few handful of um, action movies that's set during Christmas, and there, in which there are a few I've enjoyed quite a bit, even though we don't get to t we don't tend to get them that m that much that often. And there's even a few of them that I just don't find myself like ever rewatching over again, if they're like either just okay or they're just pretty bad. And um, this film came out around Christmas time, and I did check check out this movie last year during the Christmas season. And I did watch this one at home because it wasn't playing like theatrically in my area. So I did watch this at home on, on um, Sky Cinema. And um, after watching this whole movie here, unfortunately, I would say this is this is like John Woo's... I wouldn't say this is like John Woo's like next like well-known American uh, movie that he's made here. Because I did find this one pretty a bit disappointing here. But I certainly didn't hate this movie overall here. I just thought this film was just overall just decent here. And again, I would say as well, it's definitely not like his his well-known like best action film he's made in years since like Face Off or any of his other like action movies that are considered his best works here. Yeah. For Joel Kinnaman who plays the lead protagonist in the movie I thought he was overall pretty solid in the movie even though he tends to have not a whole lot of lines of dialogue in the movie here because in the first five minutes of the film he does get shot in the throat and it has affected his voice but he is still fun to watch when it comes to the action scenes in which for those moments in this movie were generally fun and yet really ridiculous when it comes to the whole bloody carnage and yeah the brutality that they that the action scenes the action scenes to have themselves here and they were directed not too bad here by um john woo himself here although we don't get into the action until like the hour mark of the film which i did find that disappointing because in the first few acts of the film um it's mostly the exposition storyline and i kind of felt that storyline went very went pretty slow due to its it's mostly due to its pacing issues because the film's pacing does feel really slow but I did like how it does manage to pick itself up once we get into the um the whole like bloody uh, rampage that we do see in the film here when we do when we do see Joel Kinnaman uh, punishing these bad guys in so many brutal ways, and um there's even one directing um directing a style that this film uses here which I did find pretty odd in which it's like a one shot they use in the film and then the, and the camera does like zoom in and out and I did feel that was a bit off putting for myself when it came to some of that directing style moment in the film. And as for the storytelling for the film, it is pretty basic and generic because it's something that we've seen before in the past for these kind of like action thrillers. And yeah, it does tend to have some similarities in some of those films as well. Well, in which in those films, they definitely are a lot more better than this film, what they, what this film represents here. And as for um, the villains themselves, yeah, they just felt really generic. Yeah, and yeah, they don't have a whole lot to themselves here, especially like the main villain here, in which he didn't have a whole lot to himself yet. And they didn't even build up anything to his whole character development as well here. Yeah, and because there are times where the film does cut back forth, cuts back to him once in a while here, yeah, but there just, there just isn't that much developments to him whatsoever here yeah, or anything. 
But all in all, Silent Night, I thought this was overall a decent um, Christmas action thriller. And it certainly isn't like John Woo's next big, like, best, like, um, action movie he's made in years since, since his, since, like, any of his other action movies that are considered his best works. But if you're a fan of director John Woo, or you're a fan of, like, Joel Kinnaman, or you're a fan of, like, action movies that said during Christmas or anything like that, I would say this might be a treat here, but, um, for me, honestly, I would, I would just say this movie is just only a one-time watch here, so, that's pretty much all I have to say about Silent Night. I'm gonna give Silent Night... Three out of five. As I already mentioned, this movie is just generally a one-time watch here, yeah, and it's definitely one I, I wouldn't find myself ever like rewatching over and over again here. Yeah. But there were a few things that I found myself enjoying quite a bit here yeah, with this movie. But for everything else, I just wish this film could have been a, hot, a lot more better than I expected here. Yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching for my ACAF Story Show review on Silent Night. And let me know what you think of this movie, if you have seen this already, or just recently checked this out. Did you have a bloody fun time with this, or was this not your cup of tea? As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and this has been Foggins Media Corner signing off.